But eventually she did succeed and she did get her voice to be heard was something I would never forget. Another great experience that I'd like to share with you today is uh, meeting Orhan Kamuk, the prominent Turkish Nobel Prize uh, novelist, of course. Now, for him, his journey was different. Growing up in a very uh, stable family, coming from a higher uh, social class, he didn't have any financial problems to help him pursue a career. But it did uh, get him a lot of courage, a lot of work, and a lot of dedication to write all those stories about the Turkish community and the struggles of the people living in different parts of this community. And at the end, the stories have reached millions, millions of readers. Another inspiring story is the story about meeting Omar Samad, of course, the first Egyptian man to climb Mount Everest and reach the summit. One of the most enjoyable moments while I was interviewing him was when he talked about how he was determined to do it, how he kept on telling himself, I can do it, and how he prepared himself psychologically to such a trip. Now, all those inspiring stories and all those people who believe in themselves did help me realize that self-empowerment is always the answer. But to share with you another totally different story, that story in particular has touched my heart. Well, I was asked by my boss to cover a story about street children in Egypt. And uh, it was part of like an awareness campaign to talk about the problem and how to find solutions to such a uh, big problem we have here in Egypt. So inspiration came from the place I can never imagine it would have come from. So I was uh, asked to uh, go to a shelter where social workers have to be with children who are uh, the current living in the streets of Egypt, and basically they talk to them and, and educate them a bit about their, uh, you know, dangers they could face living in the streets. And, and I was so surprised to hear those kids having dreams. I have always thought street children would be those kids who just looking for something to eat, trying to lure a person to give them money, or something like that. But talking to those kids, and one of them in particular, I remember him saying, I deserve a better life, and I'm going to make it happen. The determination in that boy's voice, I still remember, and I still have that moment with me till forever. I'd like to tell you that you need to find your own purpose. Find the your voice. I'd like to share with you some of the things that I've done to help me find my own. The first thing I'd like you to uh, try and do every now and again is to express yourself in any different way. Try to express yourself in a creative way. Artistically, you can play a, a musical instrument, you can write, you can dance, you can paint. Find something, find some outlet to let all your feelings come out. And I would say, do it creatively. Sometimes you will fail trying to find a way, trying to find uh, an outlet. But don't let that put you down. If you want to succeed in life, take it to the fullest. Take a bit of a risk. Life is about taking risks, I would say. Nothing ventured means nothing gained. It's always like that. Now, if you feel a little bit lost or in doubt, can always ask for help. A huge part of feeling empowered is being able to recognize that we have weaknesses. And once I have recognized my weaknesses, I can work on my weakness and make it better. So you just need to ask the right person who is knowledgeable and skilled to get to find the right answers. I always say be patient as well. Just because you cannot find a solution to your problem at the moment, just because you do not feel you are fulfilled or your dreams are being fulfilled, you need to achieve some achievements. Take it one little step at a time. One baby step at a time. Just like Dory says, keep swimming and never give up. And one more thing I would like to add about this topic is please, please, please do not share your problems on social media. 
if you do share your problems on social media, you would have a lot of expectations. But let me tell you, from my own personal experience, your expectations are never met. What you will end up with is basically people commenting on your problem, and they know nothing about the, the situation you're in or the roots of that problem. So they're just commenting and it will feel empty and basically like a useless advice. And sometimes you would feel ignored, so people maybe wouldn't be answering back and that would even break your heart a little bit. Now, trust me on this one, it really does work. Do something positive for someone else, even if it's just a smile, a tap on the shoulder. Something very tiny, an act of kindness might help. Definitely will help the person, and yes, it will reflect on you. This will definitely help you empower yourself if you believe it. If you believe I have done something to help someone and they are happier now, I can definitely do something for myself and I can definitely help myself as well. The most important thing is to begin right now. Do not wait to take the right moment. Do not wait to take the risk. Prioritize your goals and set them right. Start with asking people for an advice if you're a little bit lost or confused. Maybe a friend, a father, a mother, a teacher, someone who you know that cares about you the most. Soak up all those little experiences that life brings your way. And now I will leave you with this final quote that is an absolute favorite of mine. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. Keep on shining. Thank you so much.